my approach is to let kids experience numbers and hold them to the 10. Build it all off the one to 10. So here is my easy times table chart. And what they do is the kid writes out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we want to keep doing with one digit, so it's just the zero. Okay, they can do that. So what do they do? They do that again. They write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Hey, they like patterns. Kids like games, puzzles, patterns. So this works for them. They do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. What we do with that is we have the kids go down. Go down and find the first zero. There's the first zero. And you put a one there. Number one zero, a one. You go down to number two zero, and you put a two. You go down to number three zero, and you put a three. And they have made 10, 20, 30. And of course they recognize 10, so they start from that and they just go one, 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 one. And they've made it their way all the way down to 20 with the numbers. And they see that, they experience it, it's real for them. So then they do two, two, and then three, three. And they're all the way down to 32 <clears throat> with a number line that they've created themselves. Evenly spaced, they trust it. This makes sense to this little kid looking at this is like, yeah, you know, I can do this. Hmm. Then they have this number line, adding and subtracting five plus six, one, two, three, four, five, six is 11. They can see it. They experience it. They know it. Then they learn the names for it and how it works. So they get the direct experience of the numbers first, rather than try, give them all these terms in there. In adults, we understand addition and multiplication and all this sort of stuff. But kids, it's, it's this whole new world and it doesn't make any sense to them. Okay, so now we go over here and we're going to make the twos right next to the ones because this whole system is based on the ones and twos. Two, four, six, eight, zero. The even numbers. Skip counting. You can go over here, every other one. Two, four, six, eight, zero. Now that's real reasonable for kids. They can figure that out. They can learn it really fast. <coughs> Two four six eight zero. Well, two four six eight zero, 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 all the way down. And kids love that. It's like, okay, this is a nice pattern. What they do here is the same thing. Now they're repeating patterns. This is a game for kids. So they go down to the first zero, number one zero, and put a one. They go down to number two zero and put a two. A three, a four a five, and a six, and they have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. This <coughs> introducing, it's getting bigger numbers, and they're totally comfortable, because it's they're doing it, and it's all based on their pattern. So then again, you just do one, 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 five. You already showed them addition and, uh, and subtraction going up and down on that. So you can multiply words going across. Three plus three is six, uh, six doubled is 12. You can do halves, 24 halved is 12. Uh, 40 divided by two is 20. You can have kids see this. They can actually create that. And with this chart, they actually create all the numbers. They can create all the, the whole times table on this using simple patterns.